Greetings. My name is Luke Gomerman, and I am a park ranger here in Big Cypress National Preserve. Big Cypress encompasses an area of over 729,000 acres and is home to diverse habitats, such as this cypress swamp, but also freshwater marl prairies, slash pinelands, hardwood hammocks, and mangrove estuaries. These diverse habitats are home to hundreds of different species of animals. However, when a nationwide citizen science project investigated the wildlife here at Big Cypress National Preserve and other national parks across the United States, they were interested in studying wildlife most visitors don't even notice. They were interested in dragonfly nymphs. The nymph, or larvae, is one part of the dragonfly life cycle. After hatching from an egg under the water's surface, a dragonfly nymph lives underwater as little as two months or as long as five years, depending on what species of dragonfly it is. During this time, dragonfly nymphs eat other insect larvae, but can even eat small fish or tadpoles. When the larvae is old enough, it crawls out of the water and undergoes a metamorphosis. It sheds its outer layer of skin and emerges as an adult dragonfly, complete with wings. The adult stage only lasts up to six months. During this time, adult dragonflies will mate and females will lay their eggs underwater where future dragonfly nymphs will hatch. While a dragonfly nymph is living underwater, it may become contaminated with mercury. Mercury, a natural element, is primarily emitted into the atmosphere during the burning of coal for power generation. This mercury is transported by winds in the atmosphere until it falls back to Earth. When mercury falls into water bodies, it can become a PBT, a contaminant that is persistent, bioaccumulates, and toxic. If a dragonfly nymph consumes prey contaminated by mercury, the mercury is stored within the dragonfly nymph. The more mercury a nymph eats, the more mercury is stored inside the nymph's body. If the dragonfly nymph is eaten by a predator, such as a large fish, the mercury continues to travel up the food chain and accumulate. If mercury levels become too high in an organism, it can have toxic results. To find out how much mercury has accumulated within dragonfly nymphs of the national parks, researchers from the University of Maine teamed up with scientists at the National Park Service Air Resources Division. Together, they created a citizen science project where volunteers from across the nation would sample water buddies within the national parks for dragonfly nymphs. These dragonfly nymphs would be sent to the University of Maine for analysis. A total of 14 National Park units were selected to participate, including Big Cypress National Preserve. Local students from Seacrest Country Day School in Naples, Florida were asked to participate as citizen scientists at Big Cypress National Preserve. They accepted and arrived in November and December 2012 for sampling. Students first participated in an activity to demonstrate the bioaccumulation process of mercury. And then park rangers led a discussion on mercury, dragonfly nymphs, and the students' role as citizen scientists. They learned that as citizen scientists, they would collect dragonfly nymphs that would be analyzed by scientists for mercury. For these students, it was an opportunity to participate in a national scientific investigation. Led by park rangers, students traveled across the preserve in search of dragonfly nymphs. At each collection site, park rangers first reviewed sampling procedures with students, and then each student completed a field sheet to document the environmental setting of the sampling site. After that, it was finally into the water. Students worked together in pairs, traveling through the swamp and taking turns using the dip net. Students learned that patience was important and carefully searched their dip nets in search of dragonfly nymphs. At each site, samples began to be found. 
In order to not contaminate the nymph with mercury on our skin, the student without the dip net put on a glove, carefully picked the nymph up, and placed it into a sealed Ziploc bag. Following this, students brought their nymph to an identification station where they were assisted by a park ranger to classify their sample into one of six dragonfly families. After sampling, students were asked to reflect on their experience as citizen scientists. There were many positive responses. For example, my participation has helped me to understand what scientists do in the field and has given me a better understanding and more respect for the natural environment. Another student wrote, I know more about the environment I live right next to but knew little about. A third student wrote, This shows me how much science matters and how important it actually is. This will benefit our environment by showing how much mercury there was in the water. And finally, I think that when I participate in a citizen science project, I learn to love nature more and grow a better understanding of nature's role in our existence. A total of 27 dragonfly nymphs were collected from Big Cypress National Preserve and sent to the University of Maine for analysis. Results revealed that Big Cypress dragonfly nymphs did contain above average concentrations of mercury, around 200 parts per billion, compared to other national park units sampled, which only contained around 125 parts per billion on average. However, there was a wide range of mercury concentrations from park to park, and even within one park. For more information on this project, including curriculum resources for teachers, please visit the Acadia Learning for Participatory Science website, located at the URL at the bottom of the screen. Citizen science projects are growing in popularity around the nation and the world. Search the internet to find one going on in your area if you'd like to become a citizen scientist. And lastly, if you'd like more information about Big Cypress National Preserve, including a listing of ranger-led activities, please visit our website at www.nps.gov forward slash Thank you.